Hello and welcome to the seventh round of the Virtual V8 Supercars 2012 season. These are the Division 2 highlights and it was Chris Hack just making his debut in the uh, Virtual V8 Supercars season. He's going to be driving alongside Ross McGregor in the Bathurst round so getting some practice in before that event. He takes pole position for Black Visor Motorsport. Second place Felix Hansen also his debut in the season so far so got uh, four actual, uh, five debutants in the top five on the grid here today as preparations gear up for Bathurst. Of course, the co-drivers for Bathurst are able to run two events before the Bathurst race to be eligible to be co-drivers for the main drivers. Sixth place, George Ostavikos. Seventh place, Paul Culler. Welcome back to him. Eighth place, Nicola Ilovanos. Ninth place, Ethan Bass. Welcome back to him also. And right at the top ten was Paul Crawford. Here is the start of the race now. And Chris, plenty of wheel spin there. Will Felix Hansen get the lead into turn one? Oh, not quite. Yes, he will, it seems, though, because Chris is going to go too wide. That's the second time a pole has gone wide in the first corner. Not quite so disastrous as Kevin Brents, but Felix Hansen is away. And now side by side, Ben Davis and Chris Hacks into the first corner. The field come. Hansen, number 444, leads. Fourth place, Robert Wiesen Muller. There comes the rest of the field. Great start there from Paul Crawford. He's up. The field up into sixth, it looks like to me. Lap two is 63 now. Hansen leads. Hack is in second. Third place still Davis. Fourth is the fifth Davikos. Sixth there is Paul Cullen. Now here comes Ryan Walker. He's not had a good, good start to the race at all. He's back in ninth after qualifying in fifth. And down the inside comes Nikola Ilyavanov. Nikola Ilyavanov takes the lead. And Ryan Walker has been winning V8 supercar races that race to play, but it's a whole kettle, a whole diff different kettle of fish in this series. And it's finally they're going tough, even in Division 2. Just shows the strength of the Touring Pro Series as Paul Cullen there makes the mistake and loses a position. Now here is Dave Simmons at his namesake track. Oh, having a battle with Steve Hoppins all over the place. Now Richard Coleman almost went up in the background also as well. That's a great battle between. Hoppins and Simmons, we see Bass has lost his front bumper early on already. On board with Musgrove, looking at Chris Sykes, who gets held up. He gets held up and Musgrove takes advantage. Chris Sykes, number 68, loses the position to his PCGC Mazda teammate. Now Musgrove in behind Brendan Russo. Oh, Brendan Russo! Oh, just about held on to that. That's a very, very scary place to lose the car. And now Sykes is going to try and go down the inside of Rob Musgrove. Oh, but Brendan has hit the back of Musgrove. And Musgrove has wiped his bumper off on the inside of the track there. Now here is Scott Cervix. Cervix straight off. Oh, and Richard sideways also. Just about gets the car stopped. He's got Bass coming down the inside. Oh, we're going to make it three wide there, I thought. But Richard just about manages to take the position from Cervix. Scott Cervix in that new livery, as you can see. Still driving for up to a motorsport though, of course. Simmons in behind. Hop it. He's got Coleman behind him. Oh, Coleman behind him. Oh, hello, Coleman. Hello, Richard. And fortunately, it was Richard. Well, unfortunately for Richard, of course, but fortunately because it was Richard's fault. Richard was the one who lost out that time. Spectacular spin after hitting the back of that car. Oh, Richards out of shape. Richards out of shape. And Service going to try and take the position. Oh, contact. Easy, boys. Plenty of room to shoot past the camera there. And Servic takes that position. Now, here is Hoppit. Still battling with Dave Simmons. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Hoppit takes out Dave Simmons. Dave gets going. Looks like he's got a... a Flat left rear, though. It's at the end of the race for Dave Simmons. And Steve Hoppert is sat there feeling very, very guilty indeed. And there is Dave Simmons still trying to recover. Ryan Walker now down the inside. Nikola Levanov. He's ta starting to march back forward once again. Here is Patrick. Right in behind Chris Sykes. Ooh. And ducks the inside. A great pass there. Caught Chris completely by surprise. Kiwi goes through. Here's Brendan Russo. Going very slowly indeed into that corner. They're not quite sure what he's doing. Off the track also. Patrick's going to come through and take the position. And indeed he does. Looks like Brendan's struggling with 
tires or something here. Going very, very slowly indeed. Oh, Brendan! Oh, just tap the back there of Patrick into the first corner. And it's still Felix Hansen who's leading. Oh, Felix! Off! Oh, hello, Felix! Up the bank he goes. Way, way up the bank. That's a struggle to get a car going again, but that's for the lead of the race. It's unusual there, Felix Hansen. Maybe he was excited behind that back marker. But he's lost the lead of the race. Now it's Chris Hack who leads. Oh, and everybody all oh, very strange in this corner here. Synchronizer sliding. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. Richard Coleman in the way. Mike Bell spinning all over the place. The lead has come through. Fortunately, they're missing it all. Richard Coleman gets well out of the way. Good driving there for Richard to get out of the way in the end. Now, lap 17, 63. Felix Hansen! Oh, he's took the, touched the back of Davakos. Davakos around. Davikos gets going once again. Cullen and Ilivanov. Now on board with Ilivanov. Looking at Paul Cullen. There is Dan Patrick ahead of us. Oh, Dan Patrick. Oh, Dan Patrick! Oh, it's a big accident! Dan Patrick in the wall. Oh, big time in the wall. Has Paul Cullen got away with that in terms of damage? It looks like he pretty much has. Looked like Patrick rebounded around quite a lot instead of just sticking and stopping. And there's Felix Hansen taking advantage of that situation also. That's a big accident there for Dan Patrick. Just got out of shape and hit the inside curb. Here is now Felix Hansen going past Nikola Levanov. This is the show. Even on the straights at Simmons Plains, you have to have your wits about you with all those bumps and curbs. Now Ben Davis and Robert Wiesenmuller. This is at the front of the field. It's Chris Hacking leads. There he is just in the distance. And Wiesenmuller going past. Oh, no, is he going past? He's not. DHR teammates there. Wiesenmuller. And Ben Davis, and Ben Davis gets the exit from the corner. Good driving there. But now Wiesenmuller's on the hunt. Looks like Wiesenmuller's got the faster car at this stage of the race. Lap 25 of 63, coming towards the first pit stops, of course. Ty Webb becoming a factor. Davis and Wiesenmuller, great driving there from Ben Davis and Wiesenmuller. Beautifully giving each other plenty of room. Just about the exact amount of room they needed to get around the corner. And a minimum amount of contact, and Wiesenmuller is through. Wiesenmuller up into second. It's Walker and Ilivanov. They're still battling. So Walker got past, of course, Ilivanov. But now Walker back in behind Ilivanov. And Ilivanov is going to go deep. No, he's not. That's just a great pass there from Ryan Walker. Oh, we can only do it once. Off the track he goes. And Ilivanov back through once again. Back with this battle. That's 27 to 63. Cervic in the background there also. Well, keeping a watching brief between these two. Number 147, Walker. Number 17, Ilivanov. Haley for Bulgaria and the UK, respectively. Side by side. Walker through this time. Just about got the car slowed down. And Walker's through. Walker is finally through. Back in the field. Richards and Cullen. Cullen was running well early on, but it could be a pit stop phase. Out of sync at the moment. As he goes down the inside of Matt Richards, looked like he had a lot more grip that time around. Now, coming out of the pits here. Lap 33 is 63. Here's Ryan Walker. There's the pit exit. Oh, here comes Ilovanov. Oh, contact! Contact these two meet again. Oh! Oh, Mike Bell. Oh, but, uh, what on earth was that? Brendan Russell just drives into the back of Mike Bell, turns it around and gives him a favour in the end, but that was poor driving. And Visa Muller leads, though. Lap 44 of 63. After those pit stops, Chris Hack there just in the background. Visa Muller's leading. For THR, Ben Davis and Paul Crawford, side by side. Paul's had a solid race after a uh, poor qualifying by his standards, and now side by side with Ben Davis, who's fighting for second early on, of course. This is the battle for third. Crawford around the outside, not able to make that move. Now, on board with Crawford, in behind Ben Davis still. Ben goes wide, oh, not quite sure what Ben's doing there. Oh, on the, on the grass he goes. A lapse of concentration there from Ben Davis, and he loses the position to Paul Crawford as a result. Ethan Bass now. Oh, Ethan Bass! Ethan, Ethan, Ethan! Oh! Way out of shape. Rob Musgrove tries to get going once again. Ethan Bass lets him go through. Gets out of the way. Rob has been the victim of several attacks there at the hairpin so far in this race. Richards and Russo. Side by side, Brendan Russell's had a eventful race, you could say. Richard's trying to go around the outside of Brendan Russell at the airpin. Of course, now it's the inside 
for the next corner. Oh, and he, he gets a great exit also as well, so just takes position straight away. And Matt covers. At 53-63, here is Matt Richards once again. Four water with the racing. Oh, off he goes. Off he goes. And that hard work he just did, trying to get past Brendan Russo. He has just negated. Now, here is the winner, though. Robert Biesenmuller. As he laps Luke McDowell. And he flashes his lights in delight as he crosses the line. This is great preparation for Robert Biesenmuller ahead of the Bathurst race. Which happens at the end of the season. Second place there for Chris Hack again. Great preparation for him. Both of them driving very, very well indeed. Also, Paul Crawford, a great son of the race. Great speed shown by Ben Davis also. Fifth place, Nikola Ivanov. Sixth place, Ryan Walker. Seventh place was Chris Seitz. Good result there for him. Eighth place, Paul Cullen. Ninth place was Matt Richards. Managing to get ahead of Brendan Russo, who completed that top ten. Game Pod, the ultimate race rig for those serious about sim racing, puts you in the driver's seat with all the controls at your fingertips. Be number one on the road, in the race, in the game. Game Pod, the choice of champions.